in case anyone wondered what had happened to it here is the BSA A65 jigsaw engine the other engine out of the whole bike that came here for um, ignition timing and carburetor checks and ended up getting fully dismantled with and had the cracked cylinder barrels and everything I haven't yet had the crankshaft back for that one but I'm pretty sure it's probably ready or about ready anyway this is the other one that came in jigsaw or kit form and it's going back together and I've got the timing side ready to put the timing cover on now and what I want to do because it's got an end fed crank conversion the SRM one I've got a crank set so that the big end journals are at or near bottom dead centre so the um, sludge trap and everything are near the bottom and what I plan to do is I'm going to force feed some oil into that chamber now and into the big ends bear with me there we go just to get it off to a good start because um, I won't really be able to pump any oil in there once the timing covers on because it's it totally encloses this um, end feed modification there are, I've got pressure I can feel resistance now so that is now the chamber, the sludge trap chamber is full and I'll be pumping oil into the big ends now. So I'll give it a few more pumps like that just to get a nice load of oil in them. And that'll be a nice flying start for it when the engine is actually started up. And I'll also, you know, we've got just a little bit coming back but it won't be much because like I say the sludge trap is at bottom dead centre. Get a bit of oil into there as well, that bearing there, won't hurt that. And I'll just check an oil, squirt some oil down the sides of the conrods. What I'll probably do actually is just um, oil the camshaft there as well. Just keep on squirting the oil in because I've got the sump plate on the bottom of the engine now. And there'll be um, some residual oil in there when the engine's first started up to get flung around. I'll probably actually tip about half a pint of oil in there so that um, whatever happens when the owner gets the engine back and puts it in his bike, when the engine's kicked over or started or whatever, the crank will pick up oil and fling it around and keep everything well lubricated so next I'm going to tip the engine on its side probably pump some more oil in around here and on the gears and whatever timing gears I've got the gearbox all built up and in situ now and uh, I can put a new gasket on and put the I should call it the inner timing cover on and then that will close this lot off and I can spin the engine round then and perhaps have a look at doing the primary drive side